gas station morning. So Rocky Mountain Race Week, final day here. We start in Pueblo, drive to Denver and race this evening to finish this all off. Got the motion marquee over here and the Buick's back over here getting some fuel. So we're all getting topped off. So we can go up to the mountains, real pretty drive today. It's gonna to be beautiful, Garden of the Gods, up around the backside into Morrison, Denver, and then hit the track and uh, see what we can do today. Checkpoint, Garden of the Gods. Hey guys, first gas stop of the day after coming up into the mountains, we'll kind of carry across and come back down into Denver. Clyde's been acting up on the shifts. We added some fluid, seemed to get better. Then as I pulled up here, like at stop, like slowing down, stopping all the way, it like wants to like pull through the gear. It's kind of weird, like it doesn't want to just kind of go into like auto. So I don't know uh, what's going on there. Maybe something's burger or what, but uh, added some more fluid. Six L80s are a pain, you gotta like have them running, pull the drain plug, let it drip out. But I just added a quart and a half. I mean, we have 5,000 miles on it, so it's probably not gonna hurt it. Uh, I'd have a little more fluid in it. So hopefully uh, this fixes it. As long as it seems to get better, I'll keep adding fluid, but at some point, something might be going on with my $300 Craigslist 6L80. But we'll find out. Doug is currently seeing if he can find a battery off of like a drill to hook up the fuel pump to and give like the fuel pump like a like more or less build your own boost a pump give it like 16 volts to the fuel pump to make extra fuel pressure trying to find a battery trying uh, i'm sure somebody will have one up there so the plan is to <laughs> make a little harness wire the stock pump into a battery off of like a drill yeah so we'll use a relay and we'll ground the one side activate the other the switch side off of the original wiring and then we'll run the 18 volt milwaukee battery into the relay <laughs> and out of the relay into the fuel pump and actually under the green marquee is the the fuel pump sending you is yeah, right there perfect so you can just grab the wire tie switch. into it and yeah. boost a pump so style turn on with the key and then hopefully i mean it should make uh jeff stacy from aeromotive said they do it all the time on like big pumps so on like big motor on the fast for a cycle. pass or two it should should be all right so oh yeah heck yeah that's gonna be awesome try to get a little more fuel for the nitrous and turn the nitrous up and send it on its way <laughs> well guys the uh might have figured out the tranny issue we got tranny fluid all over the bottom of the car it's spraying everywhere so i don't know if it's starting to come out of the rear seal back here or what but i got tranny fluid everywhere there was a big fire that came down this hillside here a few years ago, a while back, I guess, or whatever. So, pretty crazy to see it up through here, coming up over these little hills. It's pretty, pretty cool. Oh, there it is. Mountain drives. We just 
dropped out of that tree line and uh, had a lock. I grabbed brakes, which Clyde's brakes are not like the greatest. They're not power brakes, they're just manual. They're, I mean, race car style stuff, not not the craziest thing. Plus, full trailer and stuff, and then having that deer just pop out right in front of us. Holy crap, that was that scared the crap out of me. Pretty scary. Really scary. Just unexpected. I mean, you you know that they're out here. You just yeah, we've seen like five deer on the whole trip. I mean, that's over the whole trip. 1500 miles but this is definitely the area that they can be too and then it's pretty dense on the side of the road yeah very uh, dense tree lines and brush and brush and stuff and he just kind of came out from uh, behind some of that brush and then grabbed that brake and started slowing down and then he getting closer and closer locked the car up but everybody behind us had enough distance that thank goodness it didn't screw up anybody else too bad and We'll get up here a little bit and just check tires, make sure I didn't jam the brakes too hard and put like a uh, big flat spot on any of the tires or anything that can become a safety issue. And then we will uh, slow down, take a little bit easier and head on a swivel to make sure, keep an eye out for them. Yep, just be more aware. Yeah, you know, like we know that they're up here, but I was close, so we just gotta uh, take it a little bit easier. Oh, well, we'll throw some more fluid in it. Up the, the deal. See if we got any flat spots on the tires from locking up. Yeah, it went in front of you, right? Oh yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. It was in the front. Yeah, I got video of it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I had a. I was like, it popped out, and I was on the brakes more, and then just kept heading right there, so I locked it up. And it was. That's what I thought it was. It's snowing. It's behind you. It's probably no more than See, that yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, nice. Anyway, like, oh, I locked you. Do you have regular training? Make sure you get that. Or two yeah. race guy doing a little maintenance on the Mazda. Oh yes. What is that? Just like a normal, your B and M? Yeah, just B and M trick shift. Yeah. Can I get some of that? Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. They want deck six in it, so I'm, I'm assuming the trick shift's probably. Okay. I don't know, it's just gonna go through it too, so it doesn't really matter, probably. <laughs> so that's the trick shift, and I guess probably they got a whole freaking thing it is. Yeah. That or I'll put something on this page, it might be something that they know this stuff. What's off the car? Huh? What is that? <laughs> it's a side of the road, it was laying right under the car. Oh. A pair of pliers that somebody lost. Get it out of where everybody tries over it. Do you want to carry that with you? Or? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's up to you. Might as well. Carry it with you in case you need it. Just hop out at some and keep. Alright, so we just had a pull over. His tranny was slipping real bad. Threw a few more corks in it. And I'm uh, gonna continue up the hill as we need more fluid. We'll just keep throwing cords in it. But I think it's the, like maybe the rear main. The drive shaft never got balanced. The guy didn't have the, the right balancer part for the part that hooks onto the tranny. Um, but he said as long as that was good, it would be good. But I think it's a little off because we do have a weird vibration in the chassis. It's it's real minimal, but it's there. And maybe over the last you know almost 10,000 miles probably on the car, maybe eight. It's probably more the rear seal maybe out of it from the working around and then that's what's kind of showing up to fight us. But we can still show up, finish this thing, we'll just put it in the beans, we'll take our 20 second penalty in both classes. We're not trying to win either one and I don't want to screw up the track for anybody. So uh, or, or, or safety, sending April down it, me down it, and if it really comes loose and dumps blue with these little radials, this car gets a little out of shape, it would be a bad, bad deal. So. Uh, we just got to try to lump it into Denver, finish this thing out, and then we still got to drive it uh, a couple hundred miles home to really finish it out. So we're going to be chewing up some fluid, but it's part of getting home and seeing how far you can really make it even with the stuff that's starting to start to go to crap. So uh, just have to figure out maybe it's not too bad to pop a new rear seal in the tranny. I'm not sure. Only one way to find out. Now we're sitting here on the side of the road watching cars go by because my dad's actually back around the last turn. The tranny's messed up in this now and he's having what he thinks is like a vapor lock issue. I just talked to him and just cars running real weird, not wanting to really go anywhere. Um, so he moved it to the other pump, drove a little bit. Still, he thought it was the fuel pump at first. But now he went ahead and changed that and now it's, uh, it's acting weird on him. So 
we'll see what it what it does here and uh we'll go from there just waiting around the corner for him to hopefully pop up and then we will figure it out It's all right, it was at 13.8. Keep an eye on that and see if it starts freaking out. Oh, okay. If I go two sets, it starts going down, then it tries to throw fuel at the other way. Okay. As long as that's the same AFR we're pulling from, I don't know. But you have fuel pressure on that same one? Yeah. Keep an eye on both those and see what it does. If you wanna go? on the road. Uh, we don't know what the deal is with the viewing. It's, it's acting weird. But you could try to choke it. Like I do have some compensation in there. So like whenever he's going uphill and downhill, it'll find AFR just like a normal car would. So it's better drivability. But uh, I don't know. I told him to throw some ice in the fuel tank, help cool it off. Because as you climb an elevation, if your fuel's going to go to shit. Uh, as far as heat and stuff, like vapor lock issue, the higher you go in elevation, the easier it is for it to like want to boil the fuel. Which maybe you got some with some water in it, some bad pump, I mean, who knows, but uh, keep going and see, try to figure it out. We can pull up the computer and look at all the sensors and make sure the one's not freaking out. So I just have to switch over to the screen so we can watch fuel pressure, see if that starts to go funky, or watch the O2 sensor and see if that starts to go funky. Cause uh, either one, then that kind of tells us where to start uh, troubleshooting if we still run into more issues. Pulled over for a quick second. We're getting close to Red Rocks and Morrison, Bandemir. You see the rock formation stuff, but there's nice people here. Have a little sign that says Race Weekers. If you want to drink, pull over. It's pretty awesome of them to uh, offer us a drink. Pretty cold beverage, so having a Mountain Dew on them, appreciate them. Uh, just so cool. Like, this is what it's about right here, right? Like people helping people out and being here and doing the thing. And <laughs> Dang! Dang! Well, Hold on, let me get a video of it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to whip it up on your head. Throw it further. That's a, that's a jerk move. <laughs> that really Real jerk move. It wasn't my idea. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't even know what type of snake it is. Maybe you guys can help me answer that. How is the racing going, by the way? It's a dead one. Pretty good. Yeah. Definitely a dead one. Definitely dead. <laughs> yeah, slightly dried out. <laughs> Thank you guys. We appreciate it. All right, time to go eat some Mexican food. No one's paying attention to me. Everyone's tired. Final day mods for the race marquee. Woo, gotta get that 60 foot. No more having to hopefully hit the progressive, huh? Yeah, hopefully it gets one right out the juice. All of it? All of it. It's got low enough gear in the back. I think it should do it. No problem. Yes. It's definitely gonna help. Definitely gonna help. We're trying to shoot for that 13, but we gotta see what'll happen because we're now back up at the highest elevation of all week. Uh, so if they knock out a 13 here, like when they were in Great Band and Carney, it would even have went deep 13s, but all the mods are starting to stack up and hopefully help them out. So Doug is dead in the middle of getting his uh, Milwaukee, is that a Milwaukee? Yep, <laughs> battery. Milwaukee powered fuel pump. <laughs> Milwaukee powered fuel pump set up on the old Grand Marquis here to hopefully spray it a little bit harder, getting the tires all set up on it. We're gonna get these put on. So a little better 60 foot, a little more nitrous, Hope for everything that we can get it in the uh, 13s here. Yeah, bud. Everybody made it here to Denver, got the car on the jack stands, and well, we have a tranny issue. So the rear sill has went out on it. Uh, I think we went through about four quarts of transmission fluid over the last 200 miles. And uh, since we're not real competitive, like I could probably wrap a rag around there, keep it from going on the track, but to keep April safe, me safe, the track safe, the car behind us in the lane safe, uh, we're not going to chance it and try to run a full pass and chance of wrecking the track and ruin everybody's fun and everything and when we don't really need it to compete anyway. So we know if the car would run. Uh, so we're just going to call it there. We do have to go up break the beam so we get a time slip for today. It's going to ruin our averages, but 
we were, I think we were at like 12th or something in my class. Yeah. It's all good. We, we had a great time. We'll worry about what the dealer can do here today and hopefully see him. Hopefully we can go for that second place because James has been super consistent, but if they have an issue, we might be able to slip into first. Uh, he's actually in third right now behind Vince Rue, which is in a like little Nova. Uh, super tight field. I think there's a thousand between <laughs> my dad and Vince. So crazy, but fun week. Really fun week. Almost got that 11, but still Almost. still can't quite get that 11. It's uh, April 5th tonight. I'm chasing it. So. <laughs> But we might we'll have to Monday. have to do some things uh, after seeing how much fun Motion's had with the nitrous on the marquee. Maybe we spray it a little bit. I don't know. But we'll get the car home. So we still got about 200 miles to drive back to Pueblo tonight. And so I'll have to take probably four quarts of tranny fluid and just keep driving once it starts acting up. Throw more fluid in, keep limping at home. And that's just what we're going to have to do, right? We'll make it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and watch some racing. But otherwise, for the Mazda, we'll go break the beams and call it a day, I guess. Yeah. All right, everyone, so scratch that. Talk to James, he said. Just put some silicone on it. Got some gasket maker. Gonna uh, fill it up, dry it out. If anything, it helps get home. But put some rags on there just in case, too, to uh, protect it from putting oil out on the track. But if this helps it uh, from leaking, we'll go try to make a pass and finish this thing off with a bang, huh, babe? Yep. Not a bang. Don't want breakage, but see how we do? Let's see how we do. All right, so try to finish this thing off with a good pass. Drag and drive cars, or I like to call them endurance drivers. 1405. Five. It's going down. Big jets are going in it. Bigger I jets. I waited a second to hit it, but it's going to the right lane. So Clicks 11998 in that 12 class. Get up on the brake. Slow that car down two. Let it rip. Thousands. Hey, it's seconds. the worst air possible right now. So. Give it an hour, it'll be off. Ripley for the record. Be better. Apparently, the, uh, the old battery worked. Lee Watkins in the right lane, the G8. Kyle Ripley. Brown in the left lane. I call this a super. Got three R. bars still. He said no, that's a Sierra. The walk into the right lane. 1196. This one had water on it. Oh, okay. I know, Kyle, I call it a Sierra. This one on accident. It's a Sierra. Earl Garzinski. So close. I'm trying to get my shock. I'm sitting in the middle of my shock. Sure, what I'm doing is what I'm going out and I'm doing that. After I launch, we're trying to put more to the car to get it to make the hit. I'm bottoming out or I'm not bottoming out. But my shock is topping out. That's what I was doing then. It's unloading the tire. So I'm making adjusting my spring down, trying to get as much travel out of the shock as I can on up so it'll allow it to separate. This, Again, time, this whole radial stuff is a whole other ball game for us. So Odyssey, I appreciate the help from these guys. It's help them. We're gonna try it and see what happens. Because the first pass, we just went out there, launched, probably just past the 60 foot, and just blew the tire off. I've never had that happen, which tells us. Gary Singer in the left lane. It, it changed the extension on the shot. The challenger. Which will have to separate as soon as I did that. And that's what we believe we're hitting them, which I'm coming to the top, which I'm pretty Sailor sure that's some of my top end issues. We're trying to drive the car, but we'll make an adjustment and try and see what's wrong with Congrats to Doug Cook on that 13 second. Woohoo! 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 That's freaking amazing. Frick yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Not to mention my <laughs> so, I've never been so excited to go so slow. <laughs> Alright, we're heading down to the lanes. Um, we're going to just go down and break the beams. Um, James tried to add some more fluid, did this little seal. and Tried to add a seal to it and it just... It just went right through the... Yeah, and I mean, seal. we could probably go down through there, but it would miss the track. And I yeah, don't want to do that, so I, I packed rags underneath it to at least catch the, catch the fluid. Direction. But I don't want to... I don't want to screw it up for everybody else. Or we don't want to be those people. Don't want to be that guy, and I also don't want to like hurt somebody else because if they don't catch it all and right. you know spray oil down, and somebody goes down there, spins the tire, puts their car on the wall, 
destroys their car because yeah, we need it at time. We know what the car runs. Um, so, not trying to be selfish here and just do it for do it for everybody else. Okay. Well, we're gonna let them know and go up there. We'll be out of the groove. Go up, break the beam, and then come back down. Sweet. This kind of feels weird because we've never done it before, but I'm like Sucks, nervous. But. I'm nervous like backing it out and then putting it back in. You can break the beams first if you want, then I can back it out of the lanes. Here we go. Just got to break the beam, unfortunately, but. Hold on one sec, let me make sure you're off the box. Yeah, you're good. Just come up and stage it and then just back up. Okay, come in. Come on. Alright. A top ball, a little more. Okay, stop. Just let him go. Back up. Okay, stop. Now I'll have to do it. I gotta break the beams real quick. I got it. Just gonna roll up here, break the beam real quick, and then we'll back this thing out. Dang it. It's one way to finish it, but we finished. And boom. Green light. Backing this thing out now. Thank you. There it is. Race week complete. Well, we completed it. Official. Officially completed Rocky Mountain Race Week. Not how we wanted to finish it off, but uh, yep. Go ahead and uh, loop around this back road, but. Uh, anyway, thanks everybody. We appreciate it so much for supporting. We're not done yet for the day. We'll just keep filming and seeing what the Buick does and finish this thing off. But uh, a lot of views on the videos throughout the week, so I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Anybody new, thanks for following along and watching with us. Just out here enjoying car stuff with other car people. Had a good week. Amazing. Amazing week. Uh, we will be back again next year. Maybe we'll turn this thing up. Maybe nitrous cam. Uh, a lot of people ask if we'll take a Camaro on it. I'd like to. It'll need some things to do it. But, uh, yeah, it's I mean, possible. it's definitely possible. So we'll, we'll definitely see how everything plays out. But I just kind of wish we would have made a full pass. But it is what it is. And we will be back again next year. That's what I get uh, for my $300 Craigslist transmission. But uh, honestly, we can't complain. That's probably so far. We need our slips. Oh, yeah, we will need a slip. Get those 20s. Should be like two. Yep. There should be two there. Uh, 717 and 716, or might be two of those. Uh, they didn't give us a. Okay. Thank you. It doesn't have a time, so maybe that just uh, shows that we broke the beam and then it, you get a default time there. Timeout or whatever it is. So there we go. You got yours. I got mine. But we're done here, other than uh, we got a little bit more to take care of. Whew. Otherwise, what do you think? Just, 
I, honestly, I think race week is 90% making it to race week, having a car that's prepared to even start to go. You make it past day one, that's another huge feat. And if you complete the whole thing, that's a whole nother deal. And then the people that do it and get a good time and win their class, that's it's an amazing amount of work and energy and time spent, but it's so addicting too. And it's such a good time. Lots of memories made on these trips. Changing up the suspension a little bit on it. Yep, and then uh, taking it lower and down about an inch and a half we gained. So hopefully now we'll have about four, it's about four and a half inches more travel. So you didn't have a lot of up travel in the in the shock. So as soon as it come up and hit that, that's where it start wanting to rattle the tire and it shock it. So now it gains separation, so it can go out further and keep separating and keep trying to keep the tire plant instead of going up and getting unsettled. Uh, so right. we're gonna leave the tune exactly the same, just the suspension change, and see if it'll go down through there. All right, here we go. He made some suspension changes. Tried to uh, get everything we can out of it. James kind of suggested some stuff. Doug suggested some stuff. He got under there, did what he could with it. More or less using all the shock that we can and uh, hopefully it goes down through there. He goes out there and then gets up on the tire and it just strikes the tire. See what Tom can do, he just rolled back in, he had some issues with his trailer. So they just made it, now they're here, see if they can knock out a pass. letting it get further out they just sprayed the track not too long ago so hopefully everything's there that it needs number 55 with a seven and Vince right in front of you he won a 47 earlier and then he won 45 they said they pulled power out and it still won a 45 so he's a thou ahead so if he goes better he needs to go a uh actually if he goes an 855 with an eight you guys would be tied so if he goes an 855 with a nine or slower you would be in second which is crazy that after a week of all that it comes down to such a tight game but it's awesome. It's pretty good. Did he go right down through there on that one? Yeah, it felt like it was up a third. We'd have to look at it and see. It was 
giving me the feel like it was one. Not it didn't shudder or nothing, but it just kind of felt like it was just there. Yeah. This one actually felt smooth, felt good. Yeah, everything. It looked great. So we definitely had more than enough in it earlier, but left wing goes 1372. Nick Thompson 1280 in that 13 class. That's way too bad. Trying to do is trying to get the 60 foot down. 60 foot still. That's a terrible 60 foot. 153, 60 foot's just horrendous. So we get the suspension figured out. That's the same 60 foot my Camaro went when it went 10. 50s up here, <laughs> 150, 60 foot. So it makes all the power out the back, though. No. Well, at least you got it. Bull Buick made it for about a 1500 mile road trip. I think they're calling it about 1300. And <laughs> yeah, made plenty of passes. So call that good. Let him see what he ends up doing and. Go well, from there. All right, everyone. So the Buick and I'm going that 855. Amazing. We'll see what happens to shut this all down. But otherwise, we're all done. The lights ready to go to use some transfer to get home. Buick, 200 and a half, 850 all week, 1500 miles. Amazing. And then you know, the motion marquee over here, 1389. Lost 500 pounds. Picked up what four seconds this week or something? Five seconds. So, what a way to make lemon out of lemonade, or lemonade out of lemons, whatever it is. <laughs> so, uh, just what a week between everything. So we ran through the math on the times. Another guy named Turnhut in the 860 something. So we actually got second place right behind James. So congrats to those guys that killed it all week. Heading into the award ceremony now. Get uh, my dad a trophy. Next up, we have our limited street class. <laughs> Third place goes to a guy that's been here every year. He, he tries hard. He tries probably just as hard as everybody else. Vince Rue with an average of 8.68. Next up, we have our veteran in drag racing, but he is a veteran for Rock Mountain Race Week, and that's Greg Orr with an 8.67. Your first place winner for this class is James Tall, and he is tall with an 8.58. And your first place is the weekly 203 hardcore ranch. A little bit of cash and so. <laughs> awesome. Ready to drive that new whip home? Oh, you guess. So April is going to drive the Motion Marquee, a.k.a. Wally home. We're going to go spend some time with it, and then we'll deliver it out to Iowa soon. But this is her, her whip home. Came with one, leaving with two. So we are part of the way back home, and I'm going to throw some more fluid in this thing. Try to make it the rest of the way. All right, everyone, we are back. Congratulations to my dad on the second place finish in Limited Street, the 850 class. I uh, had a long drive home last night with getting fluid back in the Mazda, just keeping it in there so Clyde could keep trucking down the road. But man, do we got a mess now. So just unhooked the trailer, unloaded the car, and let's check out what we got. So everything that looks wet and shiny is now coated in transmission fluid. It's definitely leaking out of the rear seal up here. I think I can take a bolt out and remove that flange, but it's a little different yoke. As you can see all the fluid trying to drip off the cross member down through here. Drive shaft is coated tank is coated all the way back to the trailer hitch the trailer had a whole bunch of stuff on it so i'm going to wipe this thing down so i can get the camaro back underneath it but the, what a mess do we have here so that's going to be the first thing up for clyde is try to get the transmission fixed so it's back to being usable uh hopefully that's all that is needed is to fix that right there so that is going to be it for rocky mountain race week coverage i hope you guys enjoyed it we had a blast and it was an amazing year and we cannot wait till next year but we got to get back to work on the cars so if you guys want to see some more Build Tune Race footage, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.